Today we'll make a Dollar Tree linen door hanger. Keep watching. We're going to start off with some floral picks that will match lemons. So white, yellow, green. These are thrifted. This is a leftover piece of styrofoam from something I got from Amazon and got some Target picks and a thrifted pick with lemons. We're going to use this jar. I've already flipped it once and used it for Christmas. I'll link that video for you. But you're just going to wrap the middle section with burlap ribbon. Then you're going to put your plaid on top of it. And I just wrap the top with a little bit of the burlap ribbon as well. I have this ribbon that came from another project also. So we're repurposing a lot today. I'm going to use my metal ruler from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut this in half. We're going to trim this up so that it will fit underneath the ribbon that is going around the center of my jar. So I'm just going to cut it down the middle and this works pretty good for that. This is messy, messy foam. If you've got something else to use, you might do something else. Little dots were flying everywhere. So I'm going to trim it down so it'll fit in the center right underneath there. And I can just squeeze that in. You want to get yours. Uh, if you're just doing this for the first time, then you want to be sure that you leave a little bit of room when you hot glue your ribbons, your band there on the back so that you can put a piece of foam in there. Dollar Tree does carry floral foam, so you can use something else there if you want. I wouldn't recommend using the, the very fine one that comes in the plastic because it's going to make a mess when you press on it. So I'm going to just take my lemon pick and cut it down. I'm also going to cut down my greenery pieces and I'm going to show you two different options for decorating this jar. Now you have to forgive me because the first option I'm a little bit out of camera range here, a little bit out of view, but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm just going from the top, everything is going to be on the top. I have two of these little greenery picks and I'm going to put one on each side and kind of fluff it out. Give it a little body, give it a little life, like a real tree. And I'm going to do the same thing with each of these picks. I have even numbers except for my lemons and I have three of those. So I'm just gonna place these in where I feel like they look good and stay with me now because in a minute you'll be able to see these. If the picks are too long, not a problem, just go ahead and cut them off. I just snipped that one while we were while it was down there on the bottom to get it exactly where I wanted it. I love this little pick with the, it came from a bigger, bigger arrangement or a bigger pick. And I just trimmed it down. I love the fern on there, so pretty. Very spring and summer. Again, just fluffing it out, pulling it away so that it's not laying flat. We want it to look like real flowers. We wanted to give it some dimension. So we're gonna make sure that we fluff everything out. So I'm going to take the second pick that I cut and just put it on this side so you see what I'm doing to the left and to the right, trying to have balance and symmetry on both sides. I'm going to press the leaves up close to my lemon and then place those down in that foam as well. You can kind of get the idea. Add those in where I like them. So this is option number one. This is what your arrangement will look like if you do it this way. Now on to option number two. And go ahead and pull these out really quickly and show you how to do the other option. So this is going to be on a slant or a diagonal. And I'm just going to go from the top corner down to the opposite bottom corner. And the weight of these arrangements will be just kind of off to the side. So I'm going to use my little white picks there and then my floral picks and kind of have them reflecting each other. Sort of. You can do this whichever way you like it whatever is pleasing to you. If you look at it and go, eh, that doesn't look right. Well, then you don't have to do yours that way. You can certainly change it up. This is just to give you inspiration. 
and you can use whatever colors you want. You could change this out for any type of holiday. You could use strawberry picks instead or blueberries or uh, no berries at all and just use it as floral. So once I get those pieces in, I'm going to go back in with the smaller clippings from those pieces of picks and I'm just going to add a little hot glue and put those in where I feel like there needs to be a little light. Often with dark green, you'll find that you have little spots that they look like holes in your arrangement. You can always bring those back to life by adding a bit of bright color. Do you see? Makes a difference, doesn't it? And I am lemon obsessed. I have done so many projects with lemons and I love them. I'm telling you that they will all be displayed in my house. Yes. There's something so cheerful about the yellow. And farmhouse because it's you got all that white to go with it. You can certainly add more colors to your arrangement if that's something that you like. Don't be afraid to break your picks apart. If you get if you go to the thrift store or you go to Hobby Lobby or whatever, of course don't pay full price, but if you get it on clearance and you get a good deal, you can take those picks apart. You can clip greenery off that you like. You can save greenery from projects that you use just the florals off of. Just, I don't throw mine away. I have a bucket that just has scraps in it and I just pick my scraps out. Now see that pick on the bottom was missing a leaf. So I just trimmed it down a little, took a leaf off the top that was hiding. It was behind a bunch of stuff and put it on the bottom. This little piece of fern, I'm actually going to add a little bit of glue so that it will stick down because it was kind of folded and I wanted to be able to see it a little bit better. So just a tiny dot. Be very careful with these plasticky pieces because with hot glue, it can sometimes melt them and they'll like snap. So you might want to use cool glue for that. Then we're going to add the bow. You can decide where you want to put it. I kind of like mine right in the middle. So I'm just going to go back over the original glue spot that I had here on this bow. Press it down in the center. This was a quick and easy floral arrangement that makes a huge impact. I think it's very high-end looking, very spring and summer, and so cost effective. It didn't cost much at all. In fact, everything for this project was already at my house. And you really can't beat that now, can you? I crafted from home. I didn't even have to leave to go get my supplies. Let me know what you think about this project and what you might do differently. I hope you'll give this a try. Summertime, we'll have a lot more options for signs, so keep a lookout for these at Dollar Tree. Thank you so much to my subscribers who've been with me a while. Thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers. I hope you share and like the videos and I love for us to have a conversation in the comments. I'll see you again soon. Bye.